Look, I think the days of, you know, moving fast, breaking things and creating any sort of products you want are, are starting to come to an end. And, uh, you know, probably for like 10 or 15 years, there hasn't been a ton of FTC or SEC or more FTC oversight on to, uh, into how these companies are operating, what their products do, and, and even the, the big acquisitions that they've made. So I do think there's going to be a heightened aggression and stepping up some of those regulatory efforts, especially in the run up to 2020 uh, in the election. Uh, Attorney General Bonovich, is the EU ahead of the curve here and, and a, a leader in regulation that should be applauded or are they being nationalistic and anti-American? Um, the, I guess the short answer to that would be a little bit of both. In some ways, I think they've recognized the problem that some of us here in the United States have been talking about. And it's not only some of their anti-competitive behaviors and, and how they um, optimize search results or what kind of information is being fed to us as consumers, but the other concern that we really need to start talking more and more about is this the dignity of all human beings and our information, our personal information that's being collected, stored, and used by these companies. And so when you get these big tech giants like Amazon and Google that are essentially collecting all this data and buying and selling it without our information, or excuse me, without our consent, without our permission, I think that's something that's very troubling as well. And what that's resulted in is this mass accumulation of power. Well, again, Mike, you know, Europe has a privacy law. The U.S. does not. Is that where we're heading? I, I mean, can, can members of Congress actually agree on such a thing? Yeah, look, it's interesting because I've been curious as to whether or not, you know, you and I uh, have been following this for a while and a lot of uh, folks in the, in the press are, are more closely scrutinizing these companies. But I wonder how much normal people uh, can appreciate the trade-offs between, you know, the cost of their privacy versus the convenience of using these services. And I think for the past year or two, people are starting to recognize just how granular the detail is on some of the ad targeting and uh, just how much they're being sort of shifted or even manipulated into using these companies' products. And I think we're finally getting to the point where maybe folks are not, uh, not as comfortable with that and maybe even offering better privacy or uh, data portability might be a selling point for companies like with Apple, which is um, even this week gone to to say how much they value user privacy in their data.